kind of lose my one year model, but just so that you know the skill I'm working with in the following exercise. So I was interested in this idea of connectivity of finding the models one can move from one spot from the other. And of course, I had to, to make a more functional definition, uh, considering that um, a valid movement uh, was available if uh, the centers of both uh, models were interconnected. So if it is the case, then I consider a positive connection or a valid adjacency and um, yeah, take it as a positive value. But if there is any obstacle avoiding this connection, then I, I talk about it as a broken connection. So uh, this value, I, I refer to it in the paper as per degree balance D, uh, that can go from zero to six. I differentiate it from connectivity, trying to avoid this uh, ambiguity of having connections that go from one edge of the space to the other and not necessarily like the whole degree connected. So um, zero would be the case of a model that is not really um, part of the system or that it has been obstructed, especially in the center. Um, so it won't really be part of the analysis at least at least not in the very first part. And then um, it can go from one to six in this approach. Uh, but then, of course, when we go to a bigger ratio of analysis, uh, one can uh, reach one point to be accessible in more than one step. So I also try to expand the rate of analysis to two, and um, of course in this case there is another model that becomes an inaccessible in this scale. And on this uh, measure, which I am approaching a second degree balance, uh, we also have values from one, no, I mean from zero to eighteen. Uh, but this value uh, can be reached in several ways, uh, either filling up the, the close proximity or avoiding it, avoiding, avoiding obstacles in the first proximity to, to reach the second one. So these were the main issues I worked with. I uh, wanted to try this on some ex exhibition halls uh, for many reasons, I think. One is that there is a lot of literature on machines, I think, um, um, special analysis, and in this way, maybe it is easier to compare the kind of results of things. And also, because in exhibition halls, I think it, the, it really differentiated the role of the architect from the role that uh, the directors of the museum may have in adapt the space to their needs, and then the, the users and the people walking in it. So the different part of the life of space can be seen more clearly. So the study was conducted in two different museums in Mexico City. Uh, the <coughs> one is signed by David Chitterfield, it's the Museum Humex. Uh, and this has three very similar layouts uh, with some changes, uh, one on top of the other. And um, these were the exhibitions that I used as, as reference. I made a little survey of the position of, of the art pieces, considering them in, as some way of representation of, the, of this third stage of intervention. Um, and the other one is called Moi, and it's a uh, part of the university actually, and it was designed by a Mexican architect. And here the shapes are more regular, uh, but well, I wanted to, to have two different um, samples. So the use is very similar. They are both contemporary art museums with similar public holding exhibits. So uh, the grid was set into the map uh, rather randomly, and first, uh, in a manual graphic analysis, I try to represent these values, and here I think I'm going against the convention, and, and blue is the higher value. And so this is the first degree balance, and then I tested for second degree balance. And as you see, the results are more or less similar in this case. The, the holes are maybe better drawn. 
Um, but by means of this non-discursive technique, I, I may say, um, the architectural elements start to get drawn in the plan. So, as the first uh, exercises were conducted by, by hand, um, I was really interested in the data, so I worked with this non-oblique coordinate system, which has already been addressed in some uh, problems regarding image uh, recognition, uh, where I identified an, or assigned for each model one column and one diagonal row. And in this way, I can identify uh, by means of this address, which would be the six adjacent cells uh, to test for positive connections. And in the same way, uh, like a function of the very first uh, relation, I can know the, the second degree adjacency. I don't really need to, to establish more connections than the first six because these are derived. Um, so, I introduced this to a very simple like, still exercise sheet, which I uh, go through a little further in the paper. Um, and I um, identified the, the obstacles or the broken connections that are uh, provoked by the architectural layout um, that established the general area of analysis and differentiated them from those that are caused by the decisions of the functions of the, of the museum. And in this sense, I, I canceled circulations that are mostly kept closed and, and this sort of thing. And as a third element, uh, obstacles set by the exhibition itself. In this way, uh, the, the program helps me calculate both first and second degree of a um, by comparing uh, these three steps, I, I, I run the, the degrees of adjacency for each of these three steps. And in the back also, I, I get uh, 15 sets of, of data. Um, I started addressing how the space was um, modified by the user. And what I observed is that the lower adjacencies get more or less stable along the process, and while the, the more open areas started to disappear like, very, very significantly in, the, in contrast with the others. So what I come to pretty from this is that the thresholds or the whole areas assigned by the architect are somehow respected along the different process of appropriation. Um, this uh, method uh, helped me uh, see how the average objects in the space not as partitions but as some kind of obstacles and start assigning measures to the disturbance they, they can provoke. I also run a correlation test among these two uh, units of measures, and I found that at least at this scale for this kind of space, um, the relation goes from 90 to 97% among these 15 pieces, um, which tells me that maybe there is no need to go to the second degree adjacency in this example, and that first degree can tell more or less what is happening in space. Uh, finally, since most programs come in orthogonal coordinates, uh, I run a little exercise for translating the information, and in this way, uh, I assign a horizontal row and a horizontal and a vertical column again um, to each of the models. And extracting data from the software I saw this uh, it was in the morning. Um, I could compare it to the closer value that I found like, visually, another value that could, uh, could show more or less the architectural elements, which is uh, the valency, and it find that the mean of the square of the deviation between radial length and apparent value length. So this is basically telling how the, the distance from, from the person to the wall varies 
as he turns the corner and sees the degrees on it. Um, and the religion was really not uh, very, well, it was actually very low and it was negative. Um, and I think since, since graphically there seems to be some relation that this is provoked because of that circulation in blue. Um, because balance is an integrated value and in such a way it has some like, extreme portions that really mess up with the dots. So in conclusion, I uh, think the work that was done uh, showed the feasibility of using an hexagonal grid instead of a orthogonal grid to approach uh, this, this spatial analysis and that there is a possibility to combine both in, in having statistics that correlate different values. Uh, also that local uh, measures can uh, address mobility issues, maybe not in a probabilistic way, but at least as an affordance of movement. And finally, well, I think um, in this project, uh, I, I could arrive like, to this first conclusion that, that the circulations were kept, um, which are, of course, very specific. Uh, but I, I think if, the, if this simple test was extended to some other uh, Types of other genres of architecture, other contexts, maybe we could start differentiating the, the necessary spaces that people admit for doing specific activities. In this case, it was uh, walking for an exhibition, but uh, I, I expect in housing, for example, we could allow for space to be constrained by our actions model. So I, I well, I would like to know your comments. <laughs> well, and, and there are some references.